Alrighty, uh, welcome to this video. So as you guys can see, today's video is labeled "What is Chat GP3?" So there's a previous video I made where I addressed how you, as the business owner in 2022, how you are specifically going to use and leverage the AI, the advancements in AI, the advancements in technology, crypto, sales, marketing, etc. How you are going to use that in your business. Uh, and not only grow your business, but obviously generate a decent uh, revenue multiple. So now there's been a lot of questions that I got based on, okay, how can, how can I use this as, as a beginner or how, you know, please help me understand what this whole uh, AI thing is and, and specifically just break it down into like chunk sized uh, pieces so that we can understand it a little bit better. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to like start this video off by showing you guys what specifically chat gp3 is and how you can use it to make money in your business okay this is like there is one example i'm going to show you here how you can make possibly a uh, hundred dollars per day but we are going to get to that that's at the end of the video so that's why you want to sit uh, with me go through the things that i'm going to show you there's two specific examples one is going to be uh, like fitness based example and the other one is going to be a more for example like a general example where you as a generalist or someone that has a certain skill that can go out and specifically just use chat gp3 to uh, make some money uh, in your life or in your business or whatever the, the goal might be for you whether it's long term or short term this video is going to help you so without further ado let's quickly go over to chat gp3 and I'll, let's quickly run it through here so as you guys can see here on this little document on google doc i have here um, we have this uh, specifically, I call this the C3PO. If you sign us up as staff assistance, we have this thing called the C3PO, which is a module. Uh, but basically, it's where we kind of like break down and, and, and go into really deep tech stuff and where we explain this. So a, a lot of people just basically in the side of self assistance asked me to do this. And this is why I'm making this video. And I decided why not just make it public. So this is specifically so for some trainers and stuff that we work with. But as I said, I have a general example here at the bottom, which I will go through. As you guys can see, it's five pages. And at the bottom, there's a general example for the, like I said, just general, uh, a generalist or a freelancer, etc. how you can use this. So that's the two parts of this video. Okay, so let's quickly go over to chat GP3, right? So first things first here, I obviously went and I already asked what it is, but I'm going to show you guys what this is. And we're going to just break down. You can come here onto this page. Just go onto the Google machine, type in um, OpenAI, and it's going to bring you here, which is the Chat GP3 website, obviously, right? So introducing to Chat GP3 research and release. So you can click on this little try button, and it'll take you to a page. If you click on it, like I already did, it will basically take you to a page like this. Obviously, you're just going to create an account, etc., and then you're going to follow through, and you're going to start exploring. So now, as you can see, it says here examples, capabilities, and limitations. But if we go back here. I want to show you, obviously, if you are a bit of a bro engineer or you're you're very technical aligned, like I know a lot of people are. But if you're not, oh, don't worry. This is also going to help you because I myself, I'm not the most uh, technical person. Right. So go through this. You'll see here there's a little bit of code and so if you can read it. Um, obviously, this will benefit you the most because you will understand how to really physically manage this uh, machine right so here's the steps and how it goes off and uh, and it basically does its little thing and yeah so why i am showing you guys this is specifically for a few reasons and obviously you guys can go read right go read what this thing is and a lot of this video is so you don't have to read everything right so basically if we go to the uh, let's quickly see here api research blog about uh, let's go to the blog section real quickly uh, you guys can also see that inside here there is a few obviously sections that you can go check out and read however that's not what we want to do right now if we go over to the api um not important for right now so one thing that i want to address is basically if you go to the learn more button here i will show you where you're going to find those examples now i had it open just with me here i'm going to find it real quick learn more okay Okay, about, okay, so um, there's an about section somewhere, or there's a button that I'm looking for somewhere here, which I can't seem to find right now. 
Okay, so here on this page here, this is what I was looking for. So on the home page here, you can obviously read a little bit about it. You can go here to uh, obviously all this API stuff is here. And what we want to find specifically is examples. Okay, go into the example tab. And this is a brief, quick, 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 quick example, right? So a bunch of different examples that you guys can go through and you can see um, easy outline chat specifically here. There's a lot of grammar based because this is a like a language uh, specifically. Let me show you what it is here. It is a I am a language model. So if you run it, I specifically asked it what you know, what kind of AI are you? And it told me I am a language model. So for the people who don't know what that is, right? A type of artificial intelligence that is trained to generate human like text. So my primary function is to assist users in generating written responses to their questions and prompts. So I do not have the ability to browse the internet. So I rely on the information that I was trained on to generate my responses, right? So I am not capable of perceiving or interacting with physical world in the same way as that a human or, aut well, basically, um, or an, an anonymous robot or, or an autonomous robot would. However, if you run this prompt uh, more than once, uh, this order to, to, to this machine more than once, you'll get different responses. However, let's quickly go over there. So the, uh, we'll, we'll reach that now. So let's quickly go over there. Right. So first thing here, we have the chat GP3. So I'm obviously in here right now is where I gave it the initial example. So again, the first example is that we're going to look at is basically how you are going to use this as let's say you, uh, for an example, you are a fitness person or someone, right? Um, so you, you help people get better biceps or you know, you, you are the best and helping females or males look a certain way, whatever your skill is as a trainer, whatever, you can follow this uh, process and you can basically, you know, it, it's, it's insane because it, like there's no, like the thinking part of this, they're still thinking, right? But the manual tasks as forward, like the admin, et cetera, is, is things that you can really, really hone in on. So I have a document here um, if you're interested in downloading this document, it's a step-by-step -step how I'm going to actually uh, continue and produce these things uh, right now. So if you're interested in that, go to the link down below the description, smash the like first, smash that like button, uh, leave a comment if you really like this and download this document to see how you can do this step-by-step -step as well. So, okay, first question here that we have here is specifically, like I said, this is a fitness-based example, okay? Uh, because there are multiple people that we work with, with inside of Salesforce systems. And this is just a super, super easy example for everyone to really get their heads around it and understand it because fitness is, is marginally really easy, right? It's like, there's a few little things you need to understand about fitness and then you can get really good at doing fitness. So again, here we go with this whole little fitness example, right? So as specifically, if you are a coach for an, in this example, and you want to use this to generate you a meal plan, you want to use this as being your personal nutritionist, or you want to use this as just gen, you know, in this whole process that you're going to go, you're going to meet a client, etc. You're going to do all the, all the drills that you run, all the questions that you ask, etc. to get the data from the client. And this is how you're going to make it really, really quick and smooth. It's going to take you around 20 minutes to do this. So uh, let's not waste any time, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to the example is okay. So here is how what we're going to do is we're going to create a weight loss plan complete with calorie targets, meal plans, and a grocery list. And I want to say this again, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a general example where you can make $100 per day. So sit with me. Okay. So first thing first here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to calculate my TDE. And you already see I, I did it here, right? So uh, let me quickly see. This is actually cool. I already did it. So I'm not going to run over the whole process. Yes, this is actually better. I'm not going to run over the whole process. If you want me to run over the whole process, that's why I said I have this document for you and I'm going to show you exactly. Obviously, the whole process is on that document. Follow it to the T. And that's basically how you are going to generate these things in 20 minutes if you're a fitness person. So this will just allow us to keep this video sweet and short. Otherwise, it's going to take us around 20 minutes just to do this. Uh, so this activity for a uh, professional that's in fitness will take you, you like we both know this will take you way longer than 20 minutes. So again, first things first, which I asked it is which number here, I asked it to calculate my this here, the TDE. If you're a fitness person, you'll know what this means, right? So from there, step number two, what I did is I asked it to calculate a calorie deficit that would help me 
Um, specifically, or well, not calorie deficit in this example, uh, this example, what I did was, let's quickly see here. To calculate the HOK, cool, cool, cool. Help me gain four kgs over four months. That's the next thing I asked it, right? Then he, then he printed it out. Boom, exactly what we're going to do. Now, obviously, you can come in here. You can iterate. You can tweak it. But it, it learns, right? So the more questions you ask it, the better data you feed it, the better uh, he or she produces, whatever you want to call your robot. I call this, this little guy here we call Yoda, okay? The chat GPT Yoda. We can start ourselves for it. But anyway, so the sample meal plan here is you can pull this out. And this is the next question I asked it, right? So I went over step three. I said, okay, bro, help me out here. Uh, pump out this thing. I said, okay, sample meal plan. Uh, run around 2,830 calories per day. Here's an example meal plan that provide or obviously 2,000. This That's why you can go through this process here. I'm not going to read out everything. And then it populated one. Now, obviously, okay, like this is a sample meal plan for 230 calories per day over like if you can come back up here, you'll see the first question was here. I gave it, I populated the data. I gave it the TDE. I gave it, I gave it the height of the person. I gave it the kgs of the person and the age of the person because that's all the data points you need to calculate that first one. Then we drill down, help me gain four kgs over four months of lean muscle, right? Okay, boom, I did that. So I just want to allow your brain to understand how this whole filtering process goes because I am talking really quick. So sample meal plans, okay, cool, it did that, it generated it. However, obviously there is a lot that you can feed it more specific data and it will populate that data. That's why this is so powerful. And if you're sitting on your bum not utilizing this uh, or if you don't know how to, then you can either book in a call with me or one of my teammates and we can run you through this whole process. But it is something you can obviously, just off of this video, you can execute on your own, right? So I only want lunch and dinner for each meal to take 30 minutes. That was the second, or rather the, I, it inside of the next question, I said, okay, step three here was, then I decided to ask it for a sample meal plan, um, okay, et cetera, 2,000 calories per day. Now we roll down here. Okay, I only want lunch and dinner. So that's the next thing I asked it, right? So I asked it for um, specific macros and instructions. And it did it specifically better, but somehow ended up uh, with a little bit of miscalculation with the calories. So that's why you have to have your uh, brain <laughs> attached to this process. But here, obviously, as we can see, 2,800 calories. So obviously, this client or this person is looking to gain muscle. You're going to pump that in here. And obviously, uh, that's going to do its little thing, do its little dance, uh, its little robot dance. But I only want to, well, specifically lunch and dinner and for each meal, 30 minutes to prep, okay? Uh, efficiency, this is step five, okay? I asked it to add more food, okay? So essentially here, I'm reading off of my notes within this thing that you can uh, you can obviously download. So that's why if you guys not are not following me, this is what I'm just reading through here. So specifically, that's what happened here, right? And then it populated. So I only want lunch and dinner for each meal for, uh, following from this previous data that you fed it, right? Then what it did was, here's a sample meal plan that includes lunch, dinner, takes approximately 30 minutes per meal, etc. Boom, 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 boom. Right? It's important to consult with a healthcare professional. Okay. Lunch, dinner, etc. Right? To prepare meals, etc. It goes really, it goes into some nice, actually deadly detail that you, some, uh, some fitness professionals don't even talk about this stuff because we, we, we work with a lot of them. Um, just in general, I've worked with a lot of them. Uh, but anyway, so add macronutrients and instructions. Okay, cool. Boom. It went out, it, remember we're feeding it a little bit more data. It populated those uh, macronutrients and instructions. Okay, boom, pop that out, lunch, dinner. Again, a little bit more macronutrient breakdown as you see here, approximately between 170 grams, carbohydrates, fats, all the jizzy jazz that obviously will take you a lot of time to produce. Now the next thing we did, we went over here, I think we're at six, uh, step six or step seven here is we had the, specifically, we wanted to augment the data into tables with daily meal plans. Right, now what this did is specifically, it came here, obviously it populated as a table here. Now this you can drill down into if you can, if you even want the caloric count, I believe you will be able to get it to do that. This is stuff that we test and play with every single day to help the people that we work with. But again, this is not just something you're gonna use if you, if you serve fitness people. I mean, if you serve, uh, if you serve gyms, uh, or if you serve real estate people, if it, it does not matter who you serve. It doesn't matter if you're a marketer, you can use this thing. Anyways, so um, you can see here, there's very, very in-depth detail um, as it goes down and it breaks it down. Like I said, I'm not going to read everything, 
So generate me a grocery list. This was the next thing we did. Next question. This is around step, um, yeah, step seven. So generate grocery list. It went over. So all of this ingredients and the stuff that you need here for this plan that you generated, the next thing you fed it is obviously a grocery list. Wham, everything is there, okay? So the next thing we went over, it went into really nice depth and detail and explanations. Now we need a workout plan for four months. Uh, specifically, this client only lifts three days a week, no more than 45 minutes per workout. The goal is to get lean, right? And then kaboom, kapow. <laughs> Anyways, right, when week one, uh, week two, you can see clear splits uh, worked out here week two, week three, week four, right? So what happened here is obviously now, now what will happen is this is now step six, seven, and nine, where you will go through and you will feed it better data, right? Obviously, this is not going to populate the best workout program on the planet. And that's why you have brains and expertise and skills. And you're going to come in here and you're going to say, okay, uh, Yoda, I want this. Yoda, please change this. Please put more attention to uh, this exercise. Uh, remove this, add this, you know, that's how you feed the data and you iterate with it, right? So, okay, yes. So step nine here, finally, we needed a workout plan. This And this is what it populated, right? This is the little workout plan, week one, day one, okay, week two, day one, two, three, it shows you the rest periods, etc. which is great, obviously, but like I said, you can give it more, right? So uh, the more data you give it, the more accurate the data, the better it learns and the better it populates. So step number 11, uh, so in about 20 minutes, we got a diet plan, right? A meal plan, a grocery list, and workouts. This is super, super unreal technology that we're working with here. So now let's quickly, most people are here for number B, the general example on how you are going to make money, $100 per day specifically. Now I want to say this, I am not here specifically to uh, show you like um, this video so you can go out and just do a get money quick kind of thing. This is not the reason why I'm making this video. However, this is a general example and this little $100 thing is not going to be a long-term game that you're going to be able to play. I, I do not stand for these kind of like get rich quick silly stuff, but point being is this, this will help you, right? So again, what we're going to do here is a general example is you're going to use this to basically populate like a copy, right? Um, and I obviously I wrote a bunch of stuff here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Fiverr, right? So it's going to go to Fiverr and you're going to see here, you're going to type in writing, copywriting, st stuff people that they want written, right? So as you come here, you'll see a lot of people will catch on to this thing real quickly because um, you will see a bunch of marketers just push this in the sense of like, this is what you need to do to make money in 2023, which in general, like I said, is a short term gain. OK, it's you're going to make a little bit of money, but then you're going to have to find something else. And if, if that's what you need to do, then you do that, bro. Like you just do what you need to do. OK, so go in here, uh, wine and drink. Right. So you can you can see here, I will write an article about wine, beer or spirits. Now, this is obviously here. You can see this is in czar, um, but obviously this will be in dollar format, will be different uh, variations of things. Right. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't matter if you stay in Cape Town. It does not matter if you stay in London. It does not matter if you stay in Sydney, uh, New York, etc. This obviously applies to you, right? So I will write your blogs and articles. See here, uh, now this uh, calculates to around, let's quickly see uh, so that I can speak to the viewers that we have from other countries. This little thing here, $455 is, how much is that? Uh, that's 26, $26 per gig here. So if you do, obviously, if you do more than five of these gigs a day using coming over here, for an example, I will write you a blog or I will write blog articles. Let's let's do this for an example. Let's do the live example here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to this guy over here, right? Now we're going to say new chat. Now write blog examples of what? Let's say for an example, uh, write me a I usually call it Yoda, but for this example, let's just stick to it. Write me a blog article about, okay, write me a blog article about, uh, let's quickly see what's about the World Cup soccer. About the World Cup, the World Cup soccer and how, I don't know, let's just say World Cup soccer. Let's just say that, okay? Write me a blog article about the World Cup 
soccer. Okay, let's see what happens. Boom. Now, you must, one thing you must realize as it goes and it does its little thing here, you are going to be capped with how many you can do in a certain time amount, right? So this is why it's important to really use your skills. If you're, if you're uh, a local copywriter or something, if you're a local freelancer, whatever the situation might be, then you still need to use the skills that you have generated, but you can come here, generate ideas, uh, take the ideas, tweak the ideas, because this thing, oh, as you can see, just gave me a network error, which is very strange. Um, okay, let's just do a new one. Uh, let's say, write me a blog article about, okay, cool, write me a blog article Oops. Write me. Write me a blog article about the world. No, uh, let's just, let's use something else. Maybe it doesn't like that. Write me a blog article about what? Um, let's say. Uh, let's say. Uh, uh, the importance of tech. Technology. Yeah, let's write me a blog article about the importance of technology in 2023 or 2024 for small SMB business. Small businesses, okay. See what happens. Uh, let's hope it doesn't give us a network error again. Um, this will happen within this machine. I don't know why. It obviously still has a little bit of uh, tweaks, problems, glitches here and there. And as I've said, you cannot rely on this thing to populate everything and you just copy and paste this because I know some people will, that will do that, but you need to go take this thing, use your skills, use your brain, and come in here and edit and tweak. And if there's something you need to change, you still need to spend work on it. But this is where the whole, uh, and I call, it, I call this your brain computing power, <laughs> has now been, you know, sh like the, this whole process has been shortened and you can produce it, you can produce quality quicker because of this tech. Now, I also say this with, in quotations, quality quicker. And this whole thing doesn't necessarily mean it's the best thing that could have been produced, but it is better than 70 or 60% of what people actually can, and that's the sad reality of it, but what they can produce, right? Um, because of this tech advancement, which is gnarly, gnarly, weirdly powerful, okay? So that's just what it is. Use this to help yourself out. You know what I mean? Like, just use this. So again, see here, now it, it went and populated this whole thing, right? Now we're obviously just going to take this little guy here, and, okay, you're going to go here, you're going to obviously do your little thing here, and you're going to find different pieces, and you're going to do that, and you're going to populate, repopulate, do, do five, six, seven reps a day, how long ever it takes you. And how long did this take me right now? Let's quickly go. But this, this didn't even, this didn't even take 20, 30 seconds, right? So this is something you're gonna wash, rinse, and repeat, and you're gonna have like a timeline of maybe around two to three months where you, where, where this will, will actually work, where people will be like catching on to what you're doing. But then that's a little short-term way that you write uh, or wrote rather. Um, but that's just me providing a little bit of value. Um, let's quickly go over here. And yeah, like I said, um, you know, if you need some help sorting this out within your business. Uh, booking a call uh, with me or with one of my team members and we can take you through this whole process, right? Uh, if there is anything you need, uh, whether it's help from my side or whether it's just better understanding of how to use this AI um, monster <laughs> in your business, how to use this, uh, uh, you know, this little elephant in the room in your business and then booking a call with me or my team members and we will happily help you. I will even uh, write you up a little action plan or not a little one, but an action plan that you can take and implement uh, into your uh, business today, right? So yeah, I mean, like, and this is also what, we're, what we have decided to do is we'll also show you how to book more meetings using the AI, which is something that has never ever been seen before. So if this prickled your interest, and um, if you like this video, you know, please leave a like, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, guys, go out there into this world and do something great for somebody today. Bye-bye.